inaccessible lands at the far end of the world. Undoubtedly, the answer can be found in the Polynesian's passion for the pirogue, a passion that exists to this day. Athletes come from all over the South Pacific to take part in the pirogue competitions. The earliest settlers probably arrived in Polynesia about 2,500 BC from southern China aboard outrigger canoes, first stopping at the islands of Samoa and Tonga. As the centuries passed, they migrated towards the inner islands of what is appropriately described as the Polynesian Triangle. Even though the Spaniard Mendana recorded a stopover in the Marquesas Islands in 1595, Polynesia remained in virtual obscurity for nearly 200 years, until Wallace, an Englishman, discovered Tahiti in 1767. But it was the glowing accounts of the scientific expeditions of James Cook and Francis Bougainville describing the charm and beauty of the mysterious New Eden that evoked worldwide curiosity and excitement. Thus the Polynesian myth was born. In this, the 21st century, the tales that were recounted by the early explorers of the Polynesian islands and lagoons still summon up images of a paradise on earth for tourists the world over. The Tuamotu Archipelago and Marquesas Islands have been spared from the pressure of tourism and tourist-related activities now rampant on Tahiti, precisely because of their remoteness. In fact, some of these islands still are accessible only by boat, distant lands at the edge of the world.